there are these little animal magnets. Look how awful this is. Unicorn's not. What? I didn't think they were even real. <laughs> In other words, glitter gel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! So it's our last evening in Vancouver, and we are going out to dinner to uh -huh. the same place again, right? <laughs> well, that's my husband. <laughs> well, you know, when I find something that I like, I kind of try to stick with it. Right? I, w I would do something new every time. Was that not one of the best places you've ever eaten, though? I th thought it was delicious, but I wouldn't know it was not. Really? Yeah. Well, thank you for taking me back. <laughs> it's because I love you. And I'm not super hungry. If I was, <laughs> I wouldn't be <make> going back. <laughs> so I really like this box. What do you think of that? Look at the bomb. So this doesn't do anything for me. Really? No. It looked good and, in the living room. And I also kind of think it says 1951 wooden ammo box, but doesn't this seem newer? It does. It seems too good to be true. Yeah. It should be a little more faded. I think it's had a little bit of uh, fixing up. So this has a nice form, but I thought it was interesting, the wooden handle. And is it, what type of metal? Is it tin or brass? I mean, it's copper. copper. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Shh. I don't need it, but I thought it was kind of cool. I found a potential purchase. Tell me. So you know those, uh, the numbers I have from granddad's things? Yeah. There's the letters, a full set. Father and Son Library. Camping out popular science mechanics for boys. So here's a tool. I cannot figure out what this thing is. Do you know what the description is? It says a hand forged metal spike. What would that be for? Maybe something in the whaling you, you, in whaling? I don't know, you look it look would you rotate it of some sort? And then, because you want to get your hand out of the way, you know? I said I like this. I think it needs a different shade, but I think it's a fun lamp. I'd have to respectfully disagree with you on that. It's okay, you're wrong sometimes. So, Jack, what is this? Um... Some sort of track thing. What's it do? <laughs> How do you use it? <laughs> well, there should be some instructions on the back. Um, what do the instructions say? Track A, Louisiana, Mississippi mud. Nope, I don't think those are the instructions. That is an 8-track. That's what we used to listen to music on. So, so Jack, you'll probably never guess. Don't look at the deck. What do you think this is? Battery. Close. It's a quail for a Model A. Yep. I have one of those at home. You have one? Uh -huh. No, I have a coil. Oh. What is that? So I don't want this one, but I do see something I think we need. What do you need? Um, yeah, not this one, but you need like a magazine pack. Keep the magazines in, and once it's full, you gotta start throwing out. Right? I don't have any magazines. Well, then I need one. So this is really interesting. So these are all typesetting for printers. This would have been for the old-fashioned printing presses. And there's just thousands and thousands of them. You know where mind your P's and Q's comes from? Because you don't want to flip them. P's and the Q's, they looked very similar, and you'd have flipped around, and you'd look silly if you printed your newspaper with a Q instead of a P. Mm -hmm. 
I think we should get the fun mirror and we'll put it by the front desk or the front door. And that way when people come in, they're like, oh, they look atrocious today. Oh. Oh. That's, those are short pants. I was always worried that my neck was a little long. How about you? If you look like that, I probably wouldn't have married you, Mama. What? Hmm? What's Jack look like? He's... <laughs> tiny little look at him there. Look how tiny he is. <laughs> we could eat him. <laughs> There's some timber framing things here. But that's a good one. I didn't already have so many of them. There's some really nice things in there. Look at that little bow saw. I haven't seen one maybe 12 inches across. Doesn't this make you want to have a little cup of coffee in the afternoon? A little fika? Mmm, bagot. Where's it from? Norway. <laughs> Somehow I you're just like, get drawn to it. <laughs> you're like a moth flame, anything from Scandinavia. It's, you know, it just has a clean line. If you think Filson and Pendleton are expensive, which we do, go to thrift stores like we do. Pet pull, Filson. Pull that out. Pendleton. Is that a is that a large long? Oh, I love is, the pattern. This is a extra large. I might be able to wear that. And this is extra extra. Oh, it's a here's a here's another Filson. Best. Hmm. Uh. So That's like too, way too big for me. Yeah. This is too big for you, too. Hey, try that shirt on for me. See how it looks. Well, it's too big for me. I know, but you look cute in my shirts. I love the pattern. <laughs> Let me guess. You like red and black, black plaid. Yeah, I do. I'll try it on. <laughs> I think it looks like it's going to be too small for you. I don't think so. Unless someone's put it in the dryer. They may have. Machine washable. Yeah. I believe this one's going home with me. Oh, I gotta see the sleeves. Ooh, they're almost short. What do you think? It's too small for you. Yeah, sorry. It's my monkey arms. <laughs> Everything is this way. It's actually not. It's too small. You just cut it, cut, make it short sleeve? It looks too small. It does? Yeah, look at the body. You look funny. Sorry. So Jack absolutely loves fab, uh, <laughs> antiques, to antique store shopping. Antique stores, he loves it. Here I can show, let me show you the excitement. <laughs> <laughs> so we were, <laughs> we were just talking that uh, it's a rite of passage. It's a rite of passage, boredom. When I was little, I got my, my grandmother and my mother they, they sewed, sewed clothing, and I was forever, <laughs> ever in fabric stores. And you had a similar experience? Well, antique stores. Antique stores, and you didn't like it? Hated it. Right. So, Jack, it's, it's, like, it's like medicine, it's good for you, it builds your character. What's good for me about it? 